To begin, let's click on the Cloud tab within Measure Square 8. We can see we're already logged into our cloud. To push our project up to the cloud, let's click on the Upload button, then we'll go to Select Files. In my case, I have my project saved to my desktop, but you might find yours in a folder called My Measure Square Projects. Let's select our project and click Open. Once the project has been uploaded successfully, let's hit the X on the pop-up. We'll see that now our Cave Creek project is at the top of my roster. In the 3D Viewer column, we can click on the Action menu to choose from several options. If we click the top option, Viewer, this will bring us to a web page where we have the viewer version of our project. This will include our product quantities when we click at the room level. Below, we have a viewer version link without our product quantities. These options will allow us to view the 3D model of our project on this machine. If all we want to do is send the link with or without product to a potential customer or a team member, we can click the Copy Viewer Link button, and this will put it on our clipboard so we can then paste it into an email or a text message. In our case, let's click on the Viewer button and take a look at our project in 3D. Once our project view has loaded, we can see we have our 3D model here. We can left click to rotate the model as well as use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out on our model. On the right hand side we have a room list where we can click on our room label to view more details. We can also just click on the room on the diagram itself and then the room details will pop up in the property view. In our case, let's click on the reception area. We can see that now room 125 has its properties showing on the right hand side, including our product quantity for that area. If we go to the left hand side, we can click on the view options menu. This will give us control over how we're looking at our project here. We can see with the takeoff option, if we go from show to hide, we'll only see the details for the specific room we have selected. If we click on the blueprint menu and select show, we can see our background PDF image from our blueprint as a reference. This would be great for collaborating with a team member if there's notes on a particular product layout. At the top of the list, we also have our view selector, which lets us toggle between a 3D and 2D view. On our left hand side, we have our cursor menu. We can choose between rotate. At the bottom of the menu on the left hand side, we can choose to download our current view image or we can copy our project view link to our clipboard using the option at the bottom of the list. The link will be copied and we'll have a pop-up saying that the link has been successfully copied to our clipboard. Thanks for watching.